Okay, so in this video, let's go ahead and cover the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. Let's talk about whether it's still worth picking up in 2023, well over two years since it dropped. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, let's cover design. In terms of just design, this is as modern as a tablet can be right now. Even though this is a two year old tablet, you will notice that it's essentially the same design we have on the current flagship Samsung tablet, right? So you have this thin uniform bezel going around with the camera located on the long side of the tablet like it's supposed to be, right? And it's very premium. When you hold it in your hand, you feel like, you know, it's very dense. And this design right here keeps this tablet super relevant as I mentioned it pretty much looks just like the current model of the flagship tablet by Samsung. On the back here, what you have is a camera module that contains a 13 megapixel main camera and a five megapixel ultra wide camera. On the front, you have an eight megapixel camera. Now in terms of camera quality, right? Despite looking just like the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, the quality of the camera is gonna be slightly different because these are slightly different cameras, right? So on the front on the Tab S8, I believe it's a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. Whereas here you only have an eight megapixel, right? And not only that, the S8 actually does have that auto framing thing where, you know, it moves automatically to make sure that you stay in the shot. And on the back of the S8, you have a 13 and a six megapixel as opposed to a 13 and a five here. So slightly different, definitely good picture quality here, but marginally better on the Galaxy Tab S8. But anyways, moving to the front here, what you have is an 11 inches display here. And this is a TFT display. And like I've said, a million times, right? This is a premium TFT display if there's such a thing, right? Because you do have other TFT displays there that don't look good, but this looks top notch. It looks very, very good. It's essentially the same display that you have on the current flagship model, same resolution. As a matter of fact, you're looking at 1600 by 2560. So pretty much the same stuff, the same PPI 274. So that's how dense it is. Images here are super sharp, just like it is the case on the Galaxy Tab S8. So when you're looking at this, assuming you are in a market for the Samsung Galaxy Tab, let's say you're considering the Galaxy Tab S7 because it's cheaper, it's probably cheaper than the Galaxy Tab S8. Keep in mind that a lot of these physical attributes are going to be the same. They share the, pretty much the same physical attributes. There are some specs, you know, specs bump that took place. So based off of your needs, you may be better off going for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. Now, this is not something that I just blindly recommend people go for nowadays, right? So there are situations where I say, just go ahead and grab the Galaxy Tab S8. And in some situations I say, hey, you know what? You don't need to go and spend all that money. Just pick yourself up, you know, a Tab S7. But anyway, so that's the display there. So in terms of picture quality, very, very good. Watching videos, playing games, all of that stuff if that's one of the things that you are focused on you know picture how, how good it looks you don't have to worry colors are vibrant it's going to give you the best that a tft display has to offer but anyway the last thing i want to go ahead and cover before we move on to the software and the user experience is just the additional physical attributes right so you have a quad speaker setup here right so four speakers and they sound very good tuned by akg you have your power button that actually combos as a fingerprint sensor that is really really good because Physical fingerprint sensors are more secure than optical or ultrasonic fingerprint sensors, right? So this is very, very good to have here, an actual physical fingerprint sensor, because not only is it more secure, but it's faster than those. So you have that, you have your volume rocker. On this side here, you have the three pins for the Samsung Galaxy, the official book cover that Samsung makes for this tablet. Of course, you have a USB type C port there that is very good for fast transfer. And then you have your mics around, but the one thing that it is missing here, of course, is going to be the headphone jack. But as we know, most manufacturers are doing away with that. They're not really bringing that back, except on the more budget tablets, right? And some mid-range tablets also. But anyway, so that is it for the physical attributes of the tablet. Let's go ahead and talk performance here. It is loaded with a Snapdragon 865 Plus. It came loaded with Android 10 back in August when it first dropped, August of 2020. And of course, eligible for up to three major updates, meaning it would see 11, 12, and 13, which is out at this point. The next iteration of the Android OS won't see this particular tablet, but you will see security updates because you get four years of security updates and you get three years of major updates on this particular lineup, meaning with the S8. Right now, you can see up to four years of major updates and up to five years of security updates, which is one of the reasons when people ask me, which one should I go for? I always ask them, what are you looking for in a tablet? For those who say, I want a tablet that could be supported for as long as possible because I'm gonna be hanging on to that thing for a very long time. I simply tell them where, hey, if you have the money, go for the S8 if you can. So it all depends on what you're looking for. Now in terms of performance, of course, this guy here is a productivity tablet. When it dropped, when it first dropped, it was supposed to be a productivity tablet, it's a pro tablet. It still is, right? So granted, 
technology advances and what we consider pro tablet here may be way beyond you know the scope of what a pro tablet was five ten years ago but as of the shooting of this video this is still considered a productivity tablet because it still works extremely well and you have to keep something in mind right so when you buy a tablet and that say this to a lot of people. So when you buy a tablet, you have to keep in mind that it actually gets better with time, if that even makes sense, right? So to a certain extent, not it just keeps getting better, right? So what I'm trying to say is that when you buy it from year zero to year one, it actually is better one year later than it was, you know, the year prior, simply because you have, they've gotten to flush out a lot of bugs, you know, security updates, and a lot of, you know, innovation, a lot of updates just on the OS that is dropped on the tablet makes the tablet better. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that this tablet is better than when it first dropped with Android 10. So if you were to go ahead and buy this guy here, you will still be fine. You'll still be able to do productivity level stuff. You have Samsung, it does support Samsung Dex. So if you're the type who needs to do a lot of admin stuff, or you need to be working on multiple applications, multiple things at the same time, you could definitely do that with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 here. I would definitely recommend in a situation like that. Let's say, you know, obviously the channel always, you know, this particular channel always leans more towards value. So if you are looking for something that's gonna provide you, you know, top level performance, and you can save some money. The Galaxy Tab S7 is actually a good pickup. It's actually a nice pickup. You can find some refurbished units on you know, eBay or maybe even Amazon. That can last you a good while. You can find them for really cheap if, you know, if, that's, if you're trying to save money. Now, the next part that I wanna cover here is the Samsung S Pen. This is the S Pen that comes with a lot more features than just the core feature that the core features that we are familiar with. You're gonna have access to all of the remote stuff like the air gestures and using this as a shutter, all of that good stuff. You will find all of that available on this S Pen here and that is something to keep in mind there. Now I don't wanna to dive too deep in the S Pen specifically because I've made quite a few videos on this particular stylus here. Make sure to check out those videos if you need to learn more about this. So that's pretty much it for the S Pen on this tablet here. Let's go ahead and talk battery. That's gonna be one of the, maybe the most important thing that people should be paying attention to if they are shopping for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 here. The battery is going to show signs of usage, right? Especially if you're a power user. If you just use it lightly, you know, after two years, who knows? So two years later, your battery is definitely going to show signs of usage, right? So it's not gonna last as much as it did when you first bought it. Obviously, I can't really tell you how long it will last because it will all depend on how you use your tablet, the type of stuff that you do on it, and all that good stuff. But I can tell you that two years later, the battery is definitely not gonna be the same battery that it was, you know, two years prior. Now, the battery itself is an 8,000 milliamp battery. So if you were to grab this, to find this actually brand new, it would last a good minute. You would definitely be able to see the entire day, even for power users like myself. When I bought this, yeah, I could definitely see the entire day. I do the same thing with my Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 that I write there. It's an 8,000 milliamp battery, same as this one here, and it does see the entire day. So it's pretty much the same user experience, the same stuff. And all of this talk, I guess, should route me to tell you whether you should pick up this guy here. It depends on what you are planning on doing. If you want a tablet that is going to be supported for a while, then you should consider the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. If you want something that's more powerful than the 8, than the Snapdragon 865 Plus that you have here, obviously go for the S8 and all of that good stuff. But if you want something, let's say a productivity tablet that will offer you the same user experience as what you have on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, then this one right here is the one to pick up, especially if you can find it at a good price. So if you can find it, let's say refurbished, those could be nice pickups, right? Because you can find those for a couple hundred bucks, right? Or something like that. I'm not really sure how much they go for on eBay, but if you go that route, that's something that I could actually recommend. So bottom line is this, is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 relevant? in 2023? The simple answer is yes, absolutely yes. Why? I have quite a few reasons. The first reason is because it offers the same user experience as the current flagship model. And the second reason is because you can update this to the current Android version. Right? The third reason, I'm gonna stop there, you have that stylus pretty much offering the same stuff as the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. We are looking at a slightly improved latency on the Tab S8, but most people wouldn't care about that. And this is a top-notch stylus. So if you wanted to go ahead and pick up this guy, I will say go ahead and pick up one caveat. You have to make sure to shop around and go for this one only if you find it at a very good price. Because in some cases, it makes more sense 
for you to go for the next trim up, you know, and go for the next one. So the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, but you know, in a lot of cases, depending on what you're looking for, this might be the one to go for. Why don't you do this? Do what a lot of people do. They go in the comment section and they would toss a little question, you know, saying something like, hey, I found this for $300 or $500 or however much, and here are the characteristics. What do you think, right? I would try to get to those. I typically try my best to get through to those comments. And if I can shop around and see that there is a better or there is an alter a better alternative somewhere, I just say, hey, why don't you consider this one here? So let's go ahead and do that. With that said, I'm hoping this answers some of your questions, right? I'm hoping that this was informative. Let me know with any other questions that you may have in the comment section. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section like I always do. Make sure to share the video with anyone that you know would be interested. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, share the video. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. Up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.